We are crossing live to Absrod Oval, where the Scott father will speak to the press. I heard that he is in a grumpy mood. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. And thank you for joining. Now, in today's episode, we have um, the Friday night and the Saturday night press conference. Just come a deal. Now, we're going to go through all the games. And uh, we had one of our spuds go nuts again. Okay, we're going to talk about him. We might even bring him on the show. We'll see how it goes. He might not want to come anymore. We'll see. We'll, we, we've invited him anyway. I'm not sure if he's going to turn up or not. Anyway, let's continue. Now, first up... We're going to go to Thursday night, okay, and um, we're going to talk about Adelaide and Melbourne. Uh, now, in this game, uh, the, uh, Jack Saligo, okay, remember the name, okay, Jake Saligo, uh, 128 super coach points, 10 kicks, 17 handballs, 8 tackles. He actually had more tackles than all the big boys, okay, uh, he looked really good, 14 contested possessions, 81%, 6 clearances, he played in the midfield. Okay, now, let's have a look. Well, let's see if it's up first, okay? Let's have a look at his price and his heat map if we can find it. Now, this week's data is not up on um, on the DFSAustralia.com. We don't have the data for this week. However, uh, if we go to last week's data, uh, he actually had 53% CBAs last week as well. So we don't know how many he had this week. It'll be a similar number, all right? So... He had this this number. He had 13 kicks and eight handballs. The problem is last week he only scored 58. So this worries me, okay? Because the um the floor is very low. Okay, the ceiling we just saw it. It's very high, but the floor is low. Now when we look at the um heat map, uh, looks like a lot of the action was on the wing. So I don't know where he played. Okay, um, he's got CBA. I think it was on a wing. It looks like, and uh, I think last week, uh. He may have gone at started here and then maybe a door soon. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Just come there. I can't remember last week. I can't remember what happened yesterday. Anyway, uh, this heat map is making me very scared. Okay, so um, I'm probably going to pass up on Saligo. I was very excited uh, to look at these maps, but now the excitement is over. Okay, I'm not interested no more. Just come with the L. Well, next up, um, we've got Hinge. Okay, uh, Super Coach 119 Super Coach points. Th this looks good, okay? But there's another boy here. Um, well, let's keep going down, all right? Hinge looked good, but let's not worry about Hinge for now. It's an awkward price. Uh, Laird did what Laird does, 116, okay? With 69% time on ground. The grandpa can't get on the field anymore. Uh, he was, he used to be one of our, especially two years ago, he was my favorite, okay? But um, unfortunately, um, it looks like. Um, He's, he's maturing a little bit faster. Um, so he's not going for those 150s anymore. Uh, now, Jordan Dawson, uh, I, I even mentioned last week, his fantasy points are high. Super coach points is not there yet. Uh, but there's a big alarm bells now. Okay, he's playing forward. Okay, now it's it's time. If you've, if you've held this long, uh, let him go. Okay, he's gone. Uh, you can't hold him any longer. Um, I, I, I mean, you can, okay, if you're a very patient man, uh, but I can't do it. So, uh, Dawson, uh, I would let him go. Now, Crouch actually had a bad game, had 30 touches, <laughs> and that's a bad game for him. Uh, scored 97. Uh, it's okay. I mean, it's a pass. It could have been a 110, would have been happier, but doesn't matter. 97 will take it. Now, the boy I want to talk about is Mark Keane. Uh, he impressed me a lot. Uh, scored 90 super coach points, 18 kicks, 5 handles. We talked about him last week. Uh, maybe we didn't pay enough attention last week because he really impressed me. That score should have been 100. Uh, he gave away a 50 meter penalty. Uh, it could have been at 100. Uh, let's have a look at his price. His price at 289k. Now, for me, normally, I don't want to spend this kind of cash on a, on a, on a player this time of the year. Uh, but this one, uh, he may actually be okay. Um, he's going to... He, Bracket was minus 18. If he scored a 90, what was he going to get? How much was he going to make? If he scored a 70, he was going to make 40K. Let's say he made 50K, all right? It's going to be less, but let's just say 50K. So he's going to be priced at uh, 340, maybe 335K-ish. Uh, 
I'm actually considering it, um, getting rid of one of those uh, spud rookies off the field, okay, and, and preparing for round seven, uh, he could be ideal, um, because I was going to rely on players like McKercher, okay, but they're letting us down, okay, we need someone a bit more reliable than McKercher, so... I might try that house next week and bring in Keane, uh, spend the extra 100k. Uh, it could work. Now, going further down uh, at Adelaide, uh, I don't think there's many uh, to interest us. Let's have a look. Uh, well, Rankin, you shouldn't have him by now. We should have got rid of him. Um, uh, that's about it. Uh, Rochelle is very disappointing, okay? 49, he, not working. Uh, Sam Berry, I mean, the Spud's only scored 33, so it's no good. Uh, Chris Burgess. Your rookie scored 15, got subbed out. Uh, that's disaster. Uh, the cash make is all gone. Is all the money he took it all with him? Finished. Okay, he spent it all. Just come at the end. Now, let's go to Melbourne. Okay. Now, Christian Patraka, uh, 140. Uh, he's a player that's going to finish top eight. Uh, but there's a few of them around this year. We've got a few players, a few guns in that midfield competing. And these are all the 600k players. We can't afford them all, but we have to try to get them. So Patrak is one of them. Uh, Gorn. Uh, disappointing. Uh, I've got a 129, and I'm disappointed. He was nearly 90 points at half time. He stopped. Uh, I think it could have been 80 points, but it doesn't matter. Same thing. Anyway, uh, scored a 129. I had him vice captain. I took his score. He's going to be a captain now. Because... Uh, Anything over 125, you've got to take it. I mean, a player can go 140. It's only 15 points extra. That same player, we saw what happened to the Bont last week. Went 110. So you just take the 130, especially 129. Uh, you've got to take it. Now, if you don't have Gorn, um, there's a bit of problems, okay? You've got, to, you've got to find a way to get him. I don't know how you're going to do it, but you've got to find a way. Uh, he's, got, he's running riots. He's probably the best Ruckman this year uh, for super coach at the moment. Now, going further down at Melbourne, uh, Viney, um, an 81 if you got him, is a no good. Uh, Clayton Oliver, okay, 62. Uh, let's have a look at his stats. Now, he's priced at 589k, break even at 164, scored at 62, so he's going to lose about 45k. He's going to go down to about 544k, okay. He's, he's going bananas in regards to... Um, Losing all his cash, and that's that's nothing. He's going to drop more because he's got that 62 in his scoring cycle uh, for round five and round seven. Uh, so it then gets out of the cycle for round eight. So if you're going to pick up Oliver, okay, if you have any interest to pick up Oliver, round eight is the time you got to pick him up, okay? Um, it could be do it could be under 500k, and, and I'd say he will be under 500k at the going rate. Uh, that's disaster if you own him, but I don't think many own him anyway. He's very uh, not much owned, three percent. So the 4,619 uh, unhappy customers are very unhappy right now. Now we go further down. Okay, we have Windsor scoring 61. He's not doing it. Okay, he's um. Very slowly making his cash, okay? It's a trickle speed. It's like a, the, when the, you got floodgates, and with him, it's like a little tap opening. It's just drip, drip, uh, little drips coming through, okay? So, he's a no good. Uh, Billings is, is worse, okay? If trap, if you got him still, uh, just get rid of him. He's going to lose cash now. He's going to go down. He's going downhill. And the player that let us down big time, um, I mean, if you got Salem, he's let you down, but the player let us down is Howes. Uh Actually, we're very lucky that he got 46. He was going, he was going at about 30. Uh, he made cash. He, he made um, about 6 or 7K this week for us. We're just going to sell him now. He's finished. Uh, the cash money is gone. We go to the um, to today's games. Uh, in, when you watch this, it'll be yesterday's games. Okay, so it will be the Brisbane Lions against North Melbourne. And <laughs> what a game. Okay, besides the fact that there was a blowout, there were some big, big names that popped up out of nowhere. Now, at the Lions, uh, Lockie Neal scored a 125 at three-quarter time. He was on track to go about 170. Uh, he was going nuts. Uh, so if you're um, interested in Lockie Neal, uh, he's going to be a good get. Um, what's his price at? Let's have a look. Well, he's only played two games. He's actually on the bubble. He scored 112. Uh, sorry, 125. He went up about um, 6K, okay, not much. He'll be 623K if you want to get him. He's actually quite cheap still. Uh, so, he's, look, what's he scored? Uh, he scored a 112 and a 129, and this one was going massive. 
His next opponents, well, he's got Melbourne, Geelong, GWS on Gold Coast, also Adelaide. He's got a few tough games coming up. Maybe don't rush, okay? Maybe just wait for the uh, Richmond game. You can pick it up probably after his bye, okay? Round 10, round 11, got round 12 bye. Maybe pick it up after his bye if you want um, Lockie Neal. Uh, his price is going to fluctuate a little bit from the looks of it. Now, uh, there's Kay Lohman. He scored an 88. Uh, that's a good score. He kicked a few goals. How many goals did he kick? Uh, two goals, one. Uh, but the thing with Lohman is he's always he's been a sub twice, so it's a bit risky, okay? Uh, I wouldn't touch him, to be honest, but we saw in the preseason he scored 100, so he can score. Um, maybe we can't touch him, okay? How much, how much cost this one? Let's have a look. Well, he's still cheap. Scored an 88. Break even was 47, so he'll go for about 17k. He'll get about 160 if you want K. Lohman, okay? And um, and then he's, he'll start making money. Uh, not a bad cash cow. Uh, so you can see here, he scores a 33, 17, 18. You shouldn't own him. Uh, Been sub every, virtually every single week. Sub. I'm not sure he was sub the first week, but he was sub these two games. But, um, again, he's got a tough draw coming up, so... Probably better off to go for the cheaper options. But if you like, K. Lohman is available. Now, going further down, uh, there's nobody else, okay? Um, I don't think there's anyone else of interest here. So, actually, there is. Let me show you. Let me explain something now. Uh, Joe Danaher. Uh, forget about the fact that we don't want to get him, okay? Mind you, I got him in draft. I got, I got lucky. Okay, it's got a 148. Now... Uh, big deal, you might say. What's a big deal? Okay, he scored 140. No one's interested. Okay, well, uh, let me tell you something, Neil. Uh, the ground they played on, Norwood Oval, um, it's a very narrow ground. And as you can see here, Joe Danaher went nuts on this ground. Scored five goals, four behinds. He could have scored more. Uh, and now, guess who's going to play on this ground on Sunday? <laughs> have a guess, okay? Well, Steele's going to be one of them, okay? Now, have a look at the tackles. Uh, we've got eight tackles for Dunkley. Actually, Dunkley's pretty similar to Steele, so maybe the tackle count's not that high, uh, considering the tackle counts at North Melbourne. Uh, but still had eight tackles. But the interesting part here is uh, Danaher, who played full forward at St Kilda, we got Max King going to play full forward on Sunday. Just come and down. Okay, we've got King in the team. So he might go nuts against Richmond. So we'll see how it goes. But if you can emulate what Joe Danaher did, we're looking at a 150. Okay, this is exciting. Mind you, I'm ready for Richmond. Just come and down. Anyway, let's move over to um, North Melbourne. And this boy here, Combin, uh, he costs... Um, 220k and he's a forward he's actually under 220k and he's a forward uh must have okay you don't have to rush you can get him in two weeks time if you want to or you can get him next week okay it depends how you feel uh but uh he looked impressive okay very impressed with combin and uh absolute must have okay and uh he's gonna score 80s 90s every week uh, the way the the way uh, the ball travels in North Melbourne's um, defence, and he is a jet. I actually didn't think he was this good, and he's got job security now. I mean, the, the coach has seen what he can do. Five tackles, eight marks, a lot of them are intercept. Okay, fourteen kicks, eleven handballs. He, he was he was on fire. Now, uh, Sheezles is Sheezles. Okay, uh, the one here is Sherry. Uh, Sherry at quarter time had seven tackles. Finished the game with nine. He just tired out. He got tired, okay? Uh, there was no more energy left. He gave it all in his first in the first quarter. Uh, he scored 115. He was an 88 at, at half time. okay? I, I was expecting a 150. I was excited. But at the end of the day, he was still happy. Can't complain, okay? I'm not complaining from here now. Just come a deal. 115 is a not bad, okay? He kicked one goal. Uh, we're happy with our investment. He's going to make some cash. Another 30 or 40K this week. Now... LDU, uh, what do you do with him? Uh, 88, 18 kicks, 7 hand passes, 3 tackles. I mean, what, what's wrong with him? Uh, why isn't he tackling? Uh, he's got 14 contested possessions, so he's probably not tackling because he's getting the ball. But 3 tackles is very low. I mean, considering that Powell had 15 and he had 3. Uh, mind you, he had 25 touches, uh, but he didn't want to give it to Powell, who only had 14. Uh, 3 of them were kicks. Uh, so, P 
Powell, uh, 73, 89 fantasy points. The role's still there for him, okay? So don't, don't panic if you got Powell. I think I smashed. And the ground didn't really suit Powell, okay? It was um, a very tight track, very, very uh, narrow. He couldn't run around. So it didn't suit Powell at all. And, and his kicks had to go short. He couldn't kick long because there's no one there to mark it. So he kicked short. And every time he went short, uh, it was a bit windy as well. So it went over the players' heads. Anyway... Uh, let's keep let's continue and uh, we talk about Colby McCurch and now uh, he let us down uh, but again I was expecting it the ground didn't suit him okay very small ground uh, don't don't be alarmed okay he should go back to his 70s again hopefully uh, the fish he went at 75 actually this surprised me I thought he'd go less okay especially with a short small ground but he went 75 but it's 400k it's not enough so if you still got the fish, okay, he might be good in fantasy. He could score 83 fantasy points, but he's not good in super coach. Uh, is there anyone else at the at the um, at the ruse that we should talk about? Let's have a look. Have I missed somebody? Uh, I think we got them all. Uh, that's about it. Now we go to Port Adelaide and the Bombers and uh, Connor Rosie, 152. Okay, um, they're taking turns. Uh, Every, every second week, someone else goes 150, 170. Uh, this week, it was Connor Rosie's turn. He went 152. Uh, the interesting one here is uh, the horny man, okay? He went 132. Now, last week, he went over 100 as well. Well, the week, well, the first game before he, after he got suspended, he went 100 as well. Uh, two scores. He's averaging about 120. Uh, he's got possible forward DPP. Um, he's going to be in our forward line. Uh, if he's a forward, he's a must-have. He's 430k. He's not going to stay there that long. Uh, it's virtually next week or never uh, for Horn Francis. Or you can wait another week, I suppose, but you got to pay an extra 50k. Uh, and his price is going to keep skyrocketing because of that 130 in the system. So keep an eye on Horny Fr the Horny Man. If you've got the cash, you might just splash. Now, uh, Zach Butters, he was on 42 at half time, he wanted to score another 77 in the second half. So the second half was huge for him. Uh, the owners would have been very nervous, okay? They, they would have been biting their fingernails, okay? I think they, 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 they bit their fingers off when they were biting their nails. But anyway, he scored 119, made them all happy again. Uh, lots of happy customers. Uh, and if you don't own him, a lot of unhappy uh, customers like myself. Now, uh, Dan Houston. Uh, he's not scoring this year. Uh, something, something is wrong. Okay, another one hundred and six. I mean, you got got to keep in mind Burton seventy one, and well, the other boy Farrell fifty six. He had a bad one last week as well, but he must have butchered it. Uh, he had seventy five fantasy points, sixteen touches to Farrell. Uh, how much did, did Burton have? Nineteen touches to Burton. Uh, Houston had 20 touches. So they're all sharing it. Uh, the good thing about with Houston, he's more central. Is he um, intercepts the marks? Okay, even though he's short, he, he can say, he's like um, he's virtually very similar uh, to Vla Vlaston Heights. Okay, Vlaston from Richmond, but he he's he looks the goods. I don't know if he's top 60 this year. Okay, he's actually um, uh, 600. He's nearly 600k. So I don't know. Okay, so keep an eye on him. Now at Port. Uh, they're the they're the main main customers. They're the main ones. Okay, there's 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 nobody else. We know Wines is out. He probably comes back next week. So we're not sure what what happens with this um uh, setup. Okay, mind you, Houston had uh actually you know, Butters had seventy four percent time on ground. The Horny Man had sixty two percent. So the Horny Man spent a lot of time on the bench. Still scored a one thirty two. Impact player is what he is. Okay, massive impact player. Now we talk about Essendon. And um and Zach Merritt's one thirty six. He's gonna be out of reach soon. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna miss the boat. This was the game that we wanted him to be tagged, the, the non owners, because I mean they got they got Drew, but they must have thought, what's the point of tagging Essen? Look at them, just they just play kick, kick in the back in the back line. They don't even attack. Uh, Nick Martin, uh, thirty five touches, one thirty three super. Coach. That's always good for super coach because um he wasn't effective. Uh, they need him on the wing. Okay, they don't need him in the back line, I reckon. They, they, they should have him on the wing uh, because he's, he hasn't got that dash, that run. 
that he had last year. He just, he's more stagnant in the back line. He gets a handball received, kicks it uh, all the way down to a half-back flank. That's, how, that's about it. And then the other, two, the other bloke turns it over anyway. Uh, it's a waste of space. They, they should move him because he's making me upset. Just come at the end. I'm trading him out. Anyway, uh, who else is here? Essendon. That's super coach relevant. Uh, I don't think there's anybody else. Or well, Parrish. Um, he's a spud. Okay, he's not good. Uh, McGrath. Uh, some people might have jumped on him. Well, there you go. He's not good too. 69. Uh, the Red Man. 55. He's even worse. Uh, that's about it. There's, there's nobody else. Uh, the only one of interest was probably Archie Perkins. Uh, he got injured. He did a hammy. Uh, he was going to have like forward status, but um, now he's injured, so that's not going to happen. Well, it is probably still going to happen, but the fact that he's injured, uh, you can't get him for about three weeks. I think he's done a hammy. And uh, Setterfield um, is back to his usual self again. Anyway, let's bring on Nick Martin. He wants to talk to you guys. Hello, everybody. This is Nick Martin. Okay, let me show you my handbag. Okay, uh, I can afford the good stuff now because I'm, I'm the best player at Essendon. Okay, they just give me the ball. Okay, uh, last week I had I had nearly 100 touches last week. I'm that good. Now, if you got rid of me, uh, I know you want to get me back. Okay, that's how it works. I'm the spud. Okay, I'm here to con you. So, last week, uh, I just showed you what I can do. Okay, and this week, the people that got rid of me, they want to get me back. Okay, well... I'm available. Look what I can score, 133. Uh, well, the other spud defenders, they, they're useless. Uh, well, Mackay scored 91. He got lucky. Okay, the other, the other three are no good. Look, McGrath, 69. Uh, where's the other one? A red, The red man, 55. I tripled him. Just cover down. Now, I'm going to be the top D1 this year. Uh, I think uh, there's no one that can match me. Uh, I'm that good. 35 touches. Who has 35 touches two weeks in a row? It's me. Okay. Uh, that's why I'm, they're giving me the extra Prada handbags now. I want to ask for a Chanel. Okay, because the Prada ones, they're too cheap. I'm worth a Chanel handbag now. Just come at the Well, the spot is now very happy. Okay. And if you still own him, you'll be very happy as well. But the people that got rid of him are not happy. Just come at Now... This week's matchups, how are we going? Let's have a look. Uh, Super coach of DR. We're gonna we're playing against um it's the centre bounce. We've got, we've got Joe. Okay, he's, um it's a t it's a tight game with Joe. Now Scott Father Cup one. Uh, we've got Ryan the Bonner train. Another tight game. There's only forty points between us. Uh, now the Scott Father Cup two. We've got Damon uh, Damon Jackson, and uh, looks like he's taken the lead. Okay, can't let this happen. Now, Scott Father Legends uh, playing against Pistol, uh, whereas Pistol's actually got a player on the bench uh, hidden. So he's got another 130 points to add to this. So it's still a close game. Now, going further down, let's have a look. Uh, Scott Father Cup 3 uh, playing against Richard the Chavapis, okay? And um, uh, Richard, you've got to do something, okay? This is a, is a no good. Okay, do something. Now, in Scott Father Cup 4, Playing it's lucky. Uh, what, what's young with you? Okay, he says. Well, what's what's a young with you? Lucky, just come at the end. Twenty forty two is gonna do something. Now, going further down, Scott Father Cup five, the field of spuds. Actually, they're actually not bad. Roberts field of spuds are doing good. They're only a couple of points behind me, so it's a close game there. Now. We go to uh, Scott Father Cup 6 and John T's team, the Super Pies. Uh, well, they're actually doing okay as well. Uh, another close game between the Super Pies. Now, Scott Father Cup 7. Uh, this boy here, Max. <laughs> What's going on? He's, he's gone bananas. Okay. 23-27. How can you be How can you be going like that? 23-27. Anyway, his team's gone bananas. Oh, he's got VC on Butters. Uh, who's his captain? He's got Tom Green as captain. Okay, we're gonna have to talk to him, young Max. Okay, you know, young Max is a young man. He's um, he's from the Richmond group. He's only a, he's only 14. 14 year old kid that can do twenty three, twenty seven. Can you believe this? 
Now we go to my team. Uh, let's see who's performing and who's not. Well, we've got Sheezel on the ground, scored a 124. Uh, Howes we put on the bench. If he scored well, I wasn't going to bring McGovern. I was going to bring in uh, somebody else, but it doesn't matter because Howes went well. Uh, actually, I wish Howes scored a big score because if he did, I would have then put McKercher on the bench and uh, checked out his score, but it didn't work out. Although I didn't have anything to loop him with, so it wasn't going to work out anyway. Um, I probably would have brought in a forward, so that would have worked. And anyway, with the um, midfield, we have a 97 from Crouch, and we have a 54 from McKercher, but he's highly owned, so a lot of people would have copped that score as well. Uh, in the rucks, uh, they're all finished. They've got a 129, uh, and we're going to keep it. And we've got Sherry at 115. Uh, the forward line, uh, Powell did a 73, and we've we've looped uh, Darcy with Campbell. Okay, so whoever scores the most, uh, well, we're probably going to have to take Darcy anyway. Hopefully he does score good, because if we take put Campbell on field, that means we can't take Gorn's score, so it's going to be a problem. So we probably have to take Darcy regardless, unless Darcy goes really bad. Then I have to switch to captain. Uh, so we'll see how Darcy goes. Now, if you take note, our subscribers, we're at 2,000. 990 okay we need about 10 subscribers to hit that magical 3000 mark so if you haven't subscribed what do you do just come it down okay just press this button here well where is it it should be around here somewhere i can't see it but there's a button here that says subscribe and uh don't be shy okay we're happy when you subscribe anyway uh that's all for today uh thank you for joining and remember one thing it's nice to be important but it's important to be nice Ciao for now. That's all, folks.